Hello everybody and welcome to my kitchen once again. I'm going to be making my lunch for tomorrow and so today I'm going to be using both a hot dog cutter and egg molds. So I'm going to show you how to use both of those since they're both really quick things to do. I think they can both fit into one tutorial. So I hope you enjoy and stay tuned. I'm going to start on the hot dog. And all I'm going to do is cut this hot dog in half. So as you can see, the mold for my hot dog is only big enough for half a hot dog and today I'm going to use a cute little penguin mold. Now these two pieces of hot dog I'm going to set in the freezer for about five minutes just so it can firm up. Alright, hot dogs into the freezer. And I'm going to leave them there for about five minutes. First things first, you have to boil the egg. And I suggest that the egg be cooked for at least 18 minutes after the water starts boiling because it has to be, absolutely must be, hard boiled. Otherwise you're going to have a lot of problems when you're trying to use the egg. After your hot dogs are done with its five minute chill session, you're going to take your mold, you're going to open it up, and you're going to take your hot dog and I actually like to push it in to the part that has the cutters because I think that I can control it better that way and you just smoosh it into place then you take the top half and you smoosh it the rest of the way press down plenty firm up you've got a little penguin but you're not done yet let's go ahead and do the same thing with the other and I like to make sure that I use the flatter side as you can see this hot dog is kind of flat on this side and rounded on this side so I use the flatter side to put towards the actual cutters so you get a well-defined face Then you're going to drop in your little penguins. And then you can lower the heat a little bit. I say to probably about medium heat. And then just let them boil away. When the time is up on your boiled egg, I'm going to pull it out and transfer it to the sink where you're going to rinse it with cool water. And all you need to do here is make it cool enough that you can actually touch it and crack it open. You still need it to be warm. So just peel the egg. starts to get hot, run it under the water again. But make sure that the egg stays as warm as possible. Be very careful when peeling the egg not to hurt the skin. After the hot dog is cooked to your liking, you can remove it from the heat. And as you can see, when you look at it, the cut marks are a lot more defined than they were earlier. You can 
the shape of a cute little penguin. You now have several choices of what you want to do with your penguin. Here you see I've filled in his eye sockets with sesame seeds and I've just lined his beak with some seaweed and then I took his wings and I flipped them out just a little bit more so you can see the difference between the two. So here you go, cute little penguin. If you want, you can actually cut little feet in too. You can just take the knife. You can cut down the middle. And cut over here. And cut over here. And you can cut in just a little bit. Be very, very careful. You can give your penguin a little seat. Now that a cute little penguin, and his feet aren't separating very well, but there they are. Another cute little penguin that gets to sit in your lunchbox. When your egg is done, you're going to take it and you're just going to run cold water on top of it. And this is just to get it cool enough for you to touch. And you're going to peel your egg and if it gets too hot, run it under the water again. And it probably will start to burn your fingers, so you just need to stay close to the water. And then begin peeling. Now, to go along with my oceanic theme, I'm going to use a fish mold for my egg. So, you're just going to take the egg and pop it into the mold. and you're going to clamp it down. Then you put this mold and egg into the freezer. All right, after your mold has been sitting in the freezer for five to 10 minutes, you can open it up. What you have is a cute fish-shaped egg. You have to kind of gently wiggle it out. There we are. And you see you have the shape on both sides. This little thing that's hanging off, you can just kind of pull off. Look, you have the real shape of the fish. And as you can see, the tail is kind of small. And that's because the egg that I used is a little bit smaller than what's technically required for this egg mold. So what I like to do is cut a slit down the back and then I take a seaweed tail that I cut out of seaweed and I insert it into the little slit that I made. So now you have an actual tail on your fish. You can also take a seaweed eyeball and put it where the fish's eyeball would be. And now you have a cute little fish egg, but not a fish egg. And here you see the finished product. You've got your fish that's in the shape of an egg, a cute little penguin, and then I also made some rice balls in the shape of fish, and they're swimming through a sea of algae, which is actually seaweed salad. And then underneath the fish you see takoyaki, which is wheat balls that are stuffed with octopus. So anyway, that's the finished product, and I hope you try it out. Enjoy! <laughs>